So now we can make the cannons explode. Before we do that, we need to make another little explosion. Over here in the assets, I have created a sprite explosion small, which is 32 by 32, and the origin point is centered. And this is just another little exploding image, but much smaller than the one we already have. And then I've made an object from it, object explosion small, using the sprite. And I've set this at a depth of negative 5, so it's on the same level as our cannon. And I've given it the parent of explosion large. Right now, object explosion large just has this animation end destroy instance, so our explosion small will also inherit that. Okay, so we can go back to our enemies and open up object cannon. And we've already established the number of hit points each cannon is going to have. Now we just need to knock off those hit points when it comes into contact with the laser and then eventually explode when it runs out of hit points. So let's add an event, collision, and we are looking for the object player laser. We're going to create a small explosion when this laser hits the cannon and then we'll use the larger explosion when the cannon is destroyed. So first let's go to main one and create instance and we will create our object explosion small at a zero zero relative of the other meaning the player laser and then we want to get rid of the player laser so we'll come to destroy instance other meaning the player laser and then we want to remove a hit point from the cannon so let's come to control set variable and we will set hit points to minus one relative, and that is applied to the self. Hit OK. So after we take a hit point away, we need to see if there aren't any more hit points because then it will explode. So let's come down to our test variable, and we will test for hit points equal to zero, and we can drag in some blocks. And actually, just to be safe, let's come and turn this into less than or equal to, just in case we get a negative number for whatever reason. So then we need to create an explosion and destroy the cannon. So let's come to main one, create instance, and we will create an instance of our explosion large at the relative zero zero point of the cannon. And then we'll just destroy the cannon. So destroy instance, destroy self. And that should be all we need to do for the cannon. Now we need to make it so that if there aren't any more cannons, the boss itself explodes. So let's close this and open up the object boss. And in the step event, we will come to our control tab, and we're going to test instance count. We are going to test for the object, object cannon. Make sure it's equal to zero and we're going to bring in some blocks. And so when the boss itself explodes, we want this to be sort of a spectacular explosion. And so we're actually going to have multiple explosions go off. So let's go to main one and create instance. We will create a large explosion at the zero zero relative. So one right in the center. And then let's go ahead and just copy and paste, paste, paste. I'm going to open the second one and I'm going to change the coordinates to say x of 20, y of 50, and the third one will change to say a negative 60 x and a negative 80 y, and for the fourth one we'll make this say positive 75 and a y of negative 60. I'm not sure where exactly that is going to make these ones appear, but we can always tweak it later. And then we want to clear the screen of everything. Bullets, all other objects will just disappear. And that's where our object super parent is going to come in. All of our objects so far are using, ultimately, the super parent as its parent, except for the player. We'll do something special with the player in the next video. But for right now, all we need to do is come in here, 
with a destroy instance and we'll destroy our object object super parent so everything on the screen aside from the player should disappear once the boss is destroyed so let's go ahead and close this and test it okay here comes the boss starts firing at me can't hurt me yet but let's see what we can do now you can see as soon as I shoot a bullet at these things it creates a small little explosion and when an actual cannon itself blows up a big explosion okay here's the last one and boom the whole thing and all of the bullets that were flying across at me disappear everything is gone of course I'm still here and I can still move but we are going to make a victory screen appear and the player is going to zip off as soon as the final boss has been defeated so we'll do that in the next video